What's up, YouTube? DJ Pikachu here with a uh, kind of uh, weird and sad type of video. Um, I don't really want to show my face right now because uh, it's early in the morning and I'm slightly tired. So, anyways, uh, what this video is about is um, basically what I want to say is uh, I'm probably going to be quitting Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, I'm still going to have, I'm going to keep one deck and keep a couple mats that are sentimental. Um, the deck I'm keeping is my heroes, but all my other decks I'm probably going to be getting rid of. Um, this is just going to be showcasing some of the stuff that I have. Uh, let me see here. Um, just want to pull out the, uh, some of the stuff that I have. That I'm going to uh, keep or that I want to get rid of. Um, sorry, guys. Sorry that it's taking so long. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry that it's taking so long, guys. I just kind of spur the moment type thing. Alright, um, so basically, uh, I've got some stuff here that I'm going to show you guys that's uh, for sale. Uh, the only things that I'm trading right now, uh, I'm getting into Card Fight Vanguard, so the only things that I really want are, uh, I have my wants down below, but other than that, I just want sealed boxes. Um, so yeah, uh, basically, this is a no particular order, guys. Uh, as you'll be able to tell, the better stuff is towards the back, but, uh, so yeah. We got a Super Grandmul, Super Evo Force, uh, two, two Reinforced Human Psychic Borgs, two Psychic Triggers. Those are just some Psychic stuff that a friend of mine pulled out. Uh, an Ultra First Dead Itali, um, Feng Wong, uh, Lightning Vortex First Edition, a Dual Terminal Gen X Ally Charger. Changer, uh, a Duelist Pack 4 Rare Cyber Dragon, um, I have two debunks, um, one's first ed, the other is uh, not, I've got two first edition Smashing Horns, a secret rare Destiny Draw from Raw Yellow, and let me see if I can find the third one, alright, I've got <coughs> three ultra rare instant fusions, I believe yeah only one of them is from raw yellow the other two are from legendary collection We've got one super rare reborn tangu one evolves our solda uh, this is where things start getting kinda better sort of um I have two gold rare thunder kings I believe I have a third gold rare and a secret rare somewhere, but I might be keep. I'm probably gonna keep those. I might even keep a third one of these until I get a uh, common for my heroes. But <clears throat> yeah, uh, super rare charge of the light brigade. Uh, it's been colored on. Um, it, the entire picture was colored red. I managed to uh, strip all the or er, most of the ink off. Um, so you'll still see some red on it, but for the most part I got it off. Um, Secret Rare Haplomus from Legendary Collection. Um, I've got a playset of Shard, Shard of Greed. Uh, preferably I'd like to get rid of them as a playset, but I guess I can get rid of them as uh, individually. Uh, Brionic. From, uh, it's from the Hidden Arsenal. Um, well, yeah, it's from Hidden Arsenal 1. Uh... Gold Rare Morphing Jar, um, Ultra Rare Seven Tools of the Bandit, Gold Rare Armor Master, Gold Rare Armed Wing, uh, I've got two Gold Rare Smashing Grounds, and this is, uh, and then Ultra Gotems. This is, <clears throat> I've got four rather pricey cards here, so bear with me guys, and I'll even just tell you the prices that I want, uh, right here and now, because I know them off the top of my head. Uh, sort of. Um, we'll start with the one that, actually, uh, 
just I'll I'll have the prices in the description. Sorry. Um, Ulti first Ed Levier. Uh, Steel Swarm Roach first edition. Uh, first Ed Wind Up Zen Mains, and Ultimate Rare Cataster. So that's that stuff, and then um, I also have some stuff out of the uh, my Insector deck. It's in no particular order, so bear with me, guys. Uh, give me a second just to make sure. Okay. Actually, hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm having a dirt moment. Okay. Um. So basically, out of the Insector deck, uh, I've got a playset of Super Rare Dualities. An ultra rare first edition allure of darkness. It's got some uh, playware on the back. It's got some dirt at the top, uh, but I mean, in a sleeve you can tell that it's first ed or that it's mint condition. Um, I can try to get that dirt off at the top for you guys. Uh, I've got two ultimate rare first edition Insector swords. If anybody wants those. Um, personally, they're one of my favorite cards in the deck. They open up for a lot of combos and give my Insectors a nice hefty attack boost that they would need to get over uh, certain cards. Um, I've got a Gold Rare Dark Arm Dragon. I don't really know why I want to get rid of that. Uh, I picked it up. It was actually, there was a funny story behind it. Um, I traded it to a guy a couple years ago. Um, and then I traded back for it a few weeks ago. So it's kind of got some sentimental value. Um, but, I mean, I can part with it if I have to. Uh, an Ultimate Rare Gigamantis, first dead. Um, you know, you know what he does. And then I've got three first edition Hornets. So, yeah. There's that stuff. Um, I also have an Exabeetle somewhere. So, if you guys want that, let me know. But, yeah, guys, I'll have the prices for all of this stuff down in the description. Um, and then, also... Uh, let me zoom out. Whoops, that's zooming in. Let me zoom out. Uh, I also have a couple of mats that I want to sell. Um, one is a Storm of Ragnarok mat. I picked this up at the uh, sneak peek back last year in February um I was judging it and they put me they let me uh the store let me ra put my name into the raffle and on the uh dice roll that the owner did my name came up um so yeah and then uh also I have a uh Duelist Revolution mat um, if anybody wants that. And then this one is kind of a weird one. Don't let the, uh, name thing fool you on it. It says you get a World Championship 2011 mat. This is not a World Championship 2011 mat. And, and if this is what it looks like, uh, if this is the actual image on the mat itself, well then, more power to them. Um, a couple of key flaws on it was that, uh... I believe last year in the World Championship that took place in July, the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game logo was still a 5Ds logo. Um, as well as... I'm trying to see. Another key flaw that I want to point out on the mat is that... Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but right there... Uh, it's purple, where the, fusion, where the extra deck would be, indicating that they uh, used a fusion deck layout. Um... They did put Spell and Trap, which I, I thought would have been kind of funny if they put Magic and Trap, but yeah. Uh, it's got Trishula, Brionic, and Gungner on it. Um, it's actually a pretty well-rendered quality. The mat itself is kind of uh, heavy. It's kind of bulky. Um, it's heavier than most mats, but uh, yeah. It was a custom mat that somebody uh, had made, and... Um, Somehow it came into my possession. Uh, I don't quite remember how, but... Uh, yeah. So that's another thing that I have. 
I don't value the mats that high, but like I said, I'm not going to undervalue them either. Um, so, like, I'll have their prices down in the description as well. Um, like I said, things that I want, um, mainly for Card Fight Vanguard, um, sealed boxes uh, um, of either, what's this one called? Oh, uh, I want sealed boxes of either uh, Descent of the King of Knights or Onslaught of the Dragons. Onslaught of the Dragons comes out next week, but I mean, if any of you guys are able to pick those up, like if you see th this video after, uh, it's either this week or next week that it comes out, um, then you guys will have access to it. So those I want, and of course Descent of the King of Knights I want. Um, right now, I value Onslaught of the Dragons boxes at 65, and Descent of the King of Knights, I value them at 75. Um just because of shipping and everything. Um, and for the record, no, I do not buy. Um, I'll also have a wants list down below of uh, Card Fight Vanguard cards that I want. I'm mainly looking just to finish up my uh, deck, and then after that, I'll start um, trying to get uh, special rares and high-value double and triple rares. So, yeah, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um... I'll have a trade binder, well, rather a sale binder video up sometime later on this week. But for now, that's all I got. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.